this is my volume program. It's basically taking the formulas that you find in the back of any geometry book, uh, algebra books, algebra 2 books. It's a basic formula sheet. And I just took the figures and made a visual representation of them. So the first one, as you can see, is a cylinder. So I attached to another get key. And if you hit uh, the get key menu for a cylinder, You run it. This would be cylinder. It actually draws it, and it shows you the parts where everything is. It shows you the radius where it is. It shows you the height of the cylinder, and it's basically asking you what do you have? Do you have the radius and the height? Do you have the surface area and the height? Do you have the surface area and the radius? The lateral area and the radius. Of course, you got more options. It'll draw it again. You know, I ask you, do you have the lateral, lateral area and height, uh, the volume and the height, the volume and the volume and the radius? And it's up to you what you choose you have or whatever, or based on the information you got. I'm just going to say I have the radius and the height. Ooh, I keep pressing the wrong button, which is all right. Keep pressing the exit. I'm just going to say I have the radius and the height. So let's say the radius is, oh, three is a magic number again. And the height is six. It goes through, draws the object, and it tells you everything you need to know about it. And it gives it in pi terms and also is, you know, number value decimal. It asks you, do you want to do it again? I'm going to say no this case and show you some other things. So I got a choice here, of course I can do a cone, a pyramid, a cube. And go to the second menu and I guess I'll, I'll do a sphere. A sphere is always pretty good. There's my sphere. And it can it can ask me what do I have? Do I have the radius? Do I have the diameter? Do I have surface area volume? And for this one I'm gonna say I have the diameter. And say my diameter is Nine. It draws it out for me. Then it gives me the surface area in pi terms. It gives me the volume pi terms. And of course, it gives me a diameter. Now I, I can know what the radius is. Two times, two times the radius so it gives you a diameter. And of course, once again, I can continue. But I'm gonna say no. And let's see. I have and if I just keep hitting left or right, it gives me the get key just loops back around to the original. And if I if I want to exit, I just leave. And that's my volume program.